Bamboo Maker World has only been out for about a year, and it already has 9 really cool softwares which help you make unique 3D prints. Today, we'll be testing out 5 of them. The first software we decided to try was the Make My Own Bust software. It's a pretty cool software. Basically, you upload a, a picture of a headshot of yourself or anyone you want to turn into a bust, and it automatically turns it into a bust. Now, this software does have its couple problems, like it has a couple glitches sometimes, and you have to reload it in again, but I think it does a pretty decent job at creating a bust, and this is the bust it created for me. The only problem was that I had to import the head part into Fusion 360 because if you want to add this base part, it doesn't really come out very well on Bamboo Lab. But honestly, importing it into Fusion 360 is actually not that big of a deal. I literally just made a rectangle, added some fillets on the side, and put my name. And this is what it looks like. The detail is pretty good. It only messed up the ear a little bit here in the corner, but for the most part, I think the model came out pretty good. For reference, here's the image that I used. The next software we used was the Bamboo Lab nameplate maker. We made one with our name and the YouTube logo and the Instagram logo because that's where we upload content on. It actually came out pretty good. It doesn't really have any major flaws and all the details we put on it came out perfectly. And even on the underside, there's still like the PMP logo and the little holes that we could put TPU or magnets in to customize it. Another software we decided to try was the Make My Own Keychain software on Bamboo Lab. Basically, you upload another picture of anything you want to turn into a keychain and it turns it into a keychain automatically. Now, this software works perfectly. There's really not too many issues except for the fact that for some reason, I couldn't really get it to be flush. I, I wanted the keychain to be completely flush, but when I imported it into Bamboo Studio, it didn't really work out very well. So I ended up just having a one millimeter extrusion on the keychain. This is how the keychain turned out. I think it turned out pretty good, but to be honest, it's a pretty easy thing to do in Fusion 360, so I'm not very impressed with it. But I guess if you're new to 3D printing and 3D modeling, it's a pretty impressive thing that you could just easily do this in a couple seconds and then just have a keychain ready to go. Another software we used was the Bamboo Lab Litho Plane Maker. And I actually made two of these. I made one for our most recent YouTube video. The ChatGPT told us what to 3D print. And I made one for our company logo. As you can see, they both came out pretty good. The ChatGPT thumbnail one, it had a little bit of a problem in that the white text went above a darker background. So when it was printing, it doesn't allow the light to shine through the text that well. But I really do like the one for our company logo because I feel like it really makes it pop. Overall, it's a pretty good software. And I would recommend it if you want to 3D print pictures as it is able to capture the colors really well. And now the final software that we decided to try was the vase maker on Bamboo Lab. It's a pretty simple concept. There's basically a couple templates to choose from for different vases or different like bowl structures. And then you're able to just go inside and customize it to however you want. So basically, this is the vase I made. And pretty much, I just chose the standard vase template. And then you can kind of just extrude each like each part of it out and then just make it into the vase that you like. And you could even add these cool little ridge patterns, which are super annoying to do in Fusion 360. So I think making this vase is actually super convenient with Bamboo Lab because making all these ridges on Fusion 360 and making these little indents are possible on Fusion 360, but they take a long time. And compared to making a little vase like this, this took me about at most 10 minutes, whereas modeling this on Fusion 360 would probably take me an hour. If you enjoyed this week's video and want to see more videos like it, please consider dropping a like and subscribing. We hope to see you guys next week.